You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. completely fed up with this whole thing. I'm tired. I don't even know what to do anymore. It depends on what's on your mind. Go back to Susan. What? I've told you my encounter with Susan these few days. I've been there severely, but she keeps treating me like a piece of shit. Then I can't do the same thing if you had to be in her shoes. Talking about feelings here. Listen, do you know what it means to break someone's heart especially someone who truly loves you you think it's easy to bear i've been telling i'm sorry okay i've been telling i'm sorry all this should be in the past right and you think it's that easy to forget okay no why we're talking about emotions here yeah. you don't play with people's emotions you don't you don't, you don't toy with people's emotions no Listen, there is a popular adage that states that when a goat wants to suck from the mother's breast, it goes on bended knees. Emeka, go on bended knees and get Suzanne. Go on bended knees and get Suzanne. Chokes, over my dead body, I will not do that. I won't, okay? Do you know what I think? We both should rest. I mean, Susan should rest on this issue, okay? We are done, okay? We are done! Because we both fell on this tragedy and she's even crying more than I do, all right? As a matter of fact, let me remind you that Amaka is carrying my child, so if she agrees to marry me, I'll practically open my arms for her, okay? Because I'm tired. I'm done! You marry who? Amaka, of course. I can see Nisha Dragama. Ishi a Dragama. Yo, yo, I don't think it's well with you. All is not well with you. Did you hear yourself speak? <laughs> you know what? Listen, man. Listen. I can't kill myself or any woman, alright? And I'm done talking about this. Believe me, man, I'm done. Emeka, you're on a precipice. Thank you me. are on a precipice. Who is it? Hold on. I'm surprised you have had me a seat. What do you want? They say if the mountain cannot go to Muhammad, then Muhammad should go to the mountain. Considering everything that has happened, I feel I feel ashamed of myself. Why? Everything is my fault. I shouldn't have said anything. We promised each other that we were going to stop after the wedding. But I don't know what happened to me. I don't know why I spoke up that day. I shouldn't have. I have destroyed everything. Hey. You have to stop blaming yourself, okay? Look, I've put all that behind me. It's all in the past now. So tell me, how is my baby doing? Your baby. 
Yes. The last time I checked, you told me we were pregnant. Well, I... I don't want to talk about any baby right now. You know, it's not easy for any woman to have a baby outside a man's house. That's not the life anyone wants and that's not what I envisaged for myself. I don't want to be in that position. What are you talking about? You never complained to me that you were deaf. I hope, I hope you haven't tampered with my baby. The, the, where, you know, things that needed to be done. My love, mm -hmm. I think I am happier now than when I was with Susan. <laughs> you know, they say that there are some disappointments that can turn into blessings. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me ask you. Okay. All this while when the troubles were going on, what was in your mind? Hmm. Truthfully, I felt, I felt really bad, you know, I felt so bad for betraying my friend, but then again, I'm a woman and I also deserve to get married. Do you know what I think, baby? I think we're destined to be together. I mean, us. That's what I think. And I love you. I love you, Ma. Mm. Come here. I want to grow old with you. Mm. Yes, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Okay, the rest of your life. Mama! Hey. What is it? Who is after you? Mama, it has happened. Hey! It has happened! The truth has finally been revealed. What they are hiding is now in the open. What truth are you talking about and what are they hiding? Emeka and Amaka are now living together, Mama. They have now settled down. Emeka and Amaka. <laughs> Can you just be serious? Eh? Why is it every time you sleep and wake up, you will frame one thing and start to talk, 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 talk? Did you see it with your two naked eyes? Did you see them? Mama, I don't know why anytime I try to tell you something serious, you think I'm lying to you. You like to doubt me. Mama, it's not a matter of whether I saw them with my eyes. Mama, this is the truth. I am telling you the truth. I cannot forge this. They are living together, Mama. I'm serious. Did you see them with this your eyes? Mama, I'm telling you the truth. Yes, I saw them. We need to do something, no? <laughs> <laughs> This is how we will be like this now. Soap will just come and enter into our eyes. Emeka. And Amaka. Yes. Together. Yes, Mama. Mama, this, this is a very serious situation. We cannot just sit and fold our arms without doing anything about it. We have to do something serious about this. This is not a joke. This is not the matter of you don't believe me. You have to believe me, Mama. You just have to believe me. Oh, no, no. Have 
anything to see with you. Sit, 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 sit. What do I have for you? Water, cold, room temperature, drink, wine, whatever. What do you want? What do I offer you? Tell me. Amaka. Yes. So it's true. Eh? What is true? That you are marrying Emeka. Your best friend's husband. You allow me to explain. Explain what? Amaka, what are you doing here? What are you doing in this house? Eh? What do you want to explain? That you betrayed your best friend or you sleep with her husband? Hi. When you told me that you are regretting your actions, I asked you to reach out to Susan and explain everything to her, which you agreed. Here you are, posing as a wife. Eh? Hey! What exactly would you have me do? Besides, Susan says she doesn't want to marry him anymore. So what do you want? Susan says she doesn't want to marry him anymore. Acting, acting wife. Deputy wife. Amaka, the news of your devilish art is all over the town. In fact, you have broken the internet. Everybody's talking about you. Dalo! Who cares if the whole planet is talking about me? That's why I exist, for people to talk about me. What is it? What have I done that is so wrong? What is it exactly? Tell me. No, 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 no. Tell me. Eh? You want me to be a baby mama? You just want me to have a child out of wedlock? What do you want? Please. I do not have the strength to, 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 to raise a child or have the money to even manage everything. What, what, what do you want me to do? Hi, Amaka, you don't have any shame. Yes, you don't have any shame in you. At least leftover shame you don't have. Eh? How will you, how will you take care of the child? The same way you, you spread your legs for a Mecca. Use that same strength to go and hustle. Go and make money and take care of your child. Eh? You are here posing as a wife. Ijoma. You know the shame. It shall never be well with whoever that did this to you, Amaka. Ijoma, did you come here to rain abuses at me? No, 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 tell me. Did you come here to insult me? <laughs> then if that is what you have come here to do, Ijoma, to fear Ijoma, Ijoma, I welcomed you here in peace. And I, right now, am saying goodbye to you in peace. Please. Amaka, I've not only come here to disturb your peace or your heart. I'm here to disturb your soul. You're a wicked soul. Tofia Kwaki. Okay. You're a very wicked. Ijoma, thank you. You can go. Please, 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 hurry up. Leave. Who even want to stay here? Ijoma, go. You don't want to stay and you came? Get out! Get out! Please. What's that, Amaka? I want to remind you that what goes around, comes around. And I want to also tell you that the world keeps re evolving. It goes in circles and nothing has ever stopped. It doesn't stop for anyone. It will not stop for you. It will not stop for Susan. It will not stop for anyone. So please get out of my house now. Get out. You will regret this. Regret what? Just like the way you're regretting. Stupid. Get out. Give them opportunity to talk and they will take a yard. Nonsense. Look at her. She doesn't even know how to close the door properly. Idiot. You know you don't have this kind of door in your house. Can you imagine? Just a neighbor woman. So yeah. She got no human sympathy. She is so evil. And she got no human sympathy. Cause she's an evil woman So engrossed in her evil deeds Yeah, she is so mean Her heart is filled with evil and mischief She's an evil woman She She's wicked and wise A happiness killer an enemy of progress She's a she is so evil She has no, no human sympathy What kind She's of a woman, woman. 
Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Why are you calling Susan? What happened? What did Susan do to you? Why are you still talking about Susan? Are you okay? Why are you still thinking about Susan? What's going on? Talk to me. <laughs> So much, and when I trust, I trust too much. And people keep on telling me, Be careful the way you love. I don't like it when you're in this mood. You've been sitting down here for hours in this mood. I don't like it at all. Hmm? You're here. Getting angry over one nonsense man that got married to that wicked and devilish Amaka, someone that has moved on. Mm -hmm. The other day, Mama told me that she saw you in this mood, and now again, look at you in this same mood. Forget about the Mecca, he has moved on. This has got nothing to do with the Mecca. God forbid it's that I'll be in this mood or I'll be sad because of a non entity. I'm just so mad at myself for being so stupid. I mean, how, how was I that foolish to think that everyone who laughs with you is your friend? To think that I was actually dining with the devil comfortably? Ah, Amaka did me dirty, I swear. My annoyance is that you're allowing this thing to eat you up. It's weighing you down, and I don't like it. I'll be fine. It's just that trust has ended my happiness. But I'll be fine. God forbid, your happiness can never <sighs> end. Nothing will ever end your happiness. Who knows? Maybe God has something in stock for you. They said every disappointment is a blessing. Maybe this thing is even destined to happen. Yeah. Stop being naughty. I want you to smile for me. My fine sister. <laughs> oh, my little sister. Mm. Spirit to spirit to spirit to. Mm. Spirit my spirit my spirit. Mm. Holy Jira. Holy Miriam. Holy Kibra. Holy Zaria. Holy Zima. <laughs> mm. What did you say happened? Divina, I do not have peace in my home. Every breath that comes out of a maker is Susan. When he's sleeping, Susan. When he's eating, Susan. Even while he's taking his bath, Susan. The most painful part of it, Divina. When he's on top of me, the thing that comes out of his mouth is Susan. He's not going to mention my name and worship me. He comes to the key to say Susan, Susan, Susan. And I am tired of the whole thing. <laughs> that is how it should be. But I promise you, you will forget about her completely. Please, eh? Do something fast. Because if I lose a maker, I will die, oh! Huh? How can you die? How can you die because of a man? There are other fishes in the river. No! No, no, no! The shame alone will kill me! Please, I don't want any fish. A maker is the fish that I want. You will not lose him. But if you insist, I will go on a midnight journey for him. He will be yours forever. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I knew I could count on you.
doctor. Yes. Doctor, please, my wife. How, how, how is she? How is my wife? She's fine. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Doctor, can, can I? We lost the baby. Because he won't have a stable home. Definitely stable. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. But can I? Can I please see my wife, please? Not now, she's sleeping. She lost a lot of energy. You see her later. That's fine. You know I'll miss you, right? <laughs> and I'll miss you more, okay? Okay. Uh, baby, please, before you go, I'd like to talk to you about something. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. It's more like a question. It's okay. Go ahead. Why does it feel like you have more feelings for Susan than you do for me? Am I not good enough? Come on, babe. Where is this coming from? I have not set my eyes on Susan for a long time. Even before I convinced you to move in with me. So what are you talking about? I know what I'm saying. Because I always see both of you in my dreams. Oh, come on, babe. That's just a dream. Yeah, it's just a dream. Listen, baby. I understand Susan is a nice person. But you are the one I love. You are the love of my life. And that's what matters to me. I'm not saying she's a bad person either. It's just that I was told that she was the one who ate the baby in my womb. What? Did, who told you that? My pastor did. Your pastor? Diviner, I am no more happy with everything. How can I be living with someone I call my husband, yet his attention is still fixed on his ex-wife? Eh? Is it that the barber doesn't know how to bab, or the razor blade isn't sharp enough? This is the sixth time, sixth time I'm here for the same purpose. Huh, I know you to be better than this. Eh? Please, why not just hit the nail on it once and for all? All I ask for is just for a maker to be mine. I want him to forget everything about Susan and become mine. That's all I want. Enough! I will end it all today. He will never dream or talk of her from now on. That was exactly the same promise you made to me the last time. Yet the problem persists. Diviner. Everything you've asked for, I have provided. What is the problem? This time will be different. I will give you a stone hatred anytime anyone talks about her. Or even if he hears her name, he will run for his dear life. And Susan will never like to see him again. Good. Now you're talking. I knew you were the best.
dead. You see this too? Anytime it looks like his heart is going towards Susan, put it in your chest. Cover it with your bra or even your clothes. And hug him. All his senses, all his senses will come towards you. And he will forget about Susan completely. Thank you. I will do as you've said. Thank you. Thank you so much. One more thing. You must not allow water to touch it. That's quite simple. Thank you. Let me take my leave. Jakira. Jarima. your favorite food and I Mama, please sit. I hope there's no problem. There is no problem, Mama. I want us to talk. It's important. Okay. Uh, is it not wise she excuses us? Who, Mama? Are we not three here? Or do you want to talk to both of us? Or do, who do you expect to leave? Mama, she has Me? to stay. She has to stay? Yes. Meaning you want to talk to both of us? Mama. She's yes. the reason for this discussion. Oh, oh, I see. So go ahead. Mama, I believe you know already. Her name is Amaka. Oh. My new wife. Yes, she's my new wife. She's from Mideani. She's agreed to marry me and she has agreed to live with me. I see. You have been living together. You both have been living together all this while, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 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 Mama, the, the truth is, uh, then I was helping Susan out. And, and the help ended. Mama, there is no need for questions and answers section, okay? Oh. Yes, I practically brought her home to officially introduce her to you. As my wife, Mama, I love her so much. Yes, I love her. She's my wife. But I'm not just meeting her for the first time. I know her already. Is that why you requested to see me? Because I want to go get ready to go to the farm. So, Mama, you don't have anything to say about this? Excuse me. Your mom doesn't like me. She doesn't have a say, my love. I have the final say, okay? You're the one I want, and that's final. You know I love you. And I love you more. No, I love you more. Come here. Most beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Mama. Okay, Mama. Dalo. I didn't know you were back. From the farm, how did it go? I thought the Maka said you still are going back to the city today. So what changed? Well, Emeka and I never discussed that. We actually planned to leave on Sunday. 
Really? Yes. So what was his point of waking me up this early for a discussion? When he knew it wasn't going today. I I don't I don't know and I can't speak for him. But I thought that's the best time to have a family discussion. Anyway, let me remove your hand from this. Don't help me. I can help myself. Because I'm not lame. I have my hands. Do you want to contaminate this vegetable? Please don't defile it. It's something that we'll put in our mouth so that we don't get defiled as you are. Let me do my work alone. I've been doing it all my life. Today will not be an exception. Don't help me. Mama, please forgive me. I'm like your daughter. God forbid. I can never have a daughter like you. My blood. None of them can be a betrayer. God forbid I should have a child like you. Uh, Mama, if there's anything I've done to you, please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please. Go to the church and confess your sins. So that God will have mercy on you. I am not God that forgives sins. Mama. She just, just don't call me that again. Are you mad or what? Do I look like your mother? Shouldn't you change the map? Get away from here now before I use this on you. Get out. Mama, we be leaving. May God guide you safely to the city. Amen. Um, Mama, when did you say Blessing will be coming to the city? Discuss with her. I know when she's going to the city. It's okay, Mama. I'll call on the phone. Take care. Safe journey. everyone hate me this much come on what offense did I commit that someone else hasn't 
I've tried all I can to please him make his mother. But the more I try to be nice, the worse our hatred becomes. What do I do? What do I do? Should I leave this marriage for good? Nah, nah. Mm -mm. I will not. Instead, the opposition will leave for me. Come to think of it, the diviner always has a solution to all my problems. And he should have one for this. Definitely. Ah, she's an evil woman. So evil. Yeah, she got no human sympathy. She is so evil. So evil. And she got no human sympathy. Because she's an evil woman. Ah, ah. Who do we have here? <laughs> hey. Hey, Come in, come in, come in, come in. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Listen, yeah. where are you coming from at this time of the night? Village, of course. Village, yes. <laughs> okay. How is Mama and everyone in the village? Everyone is fine and everyone send their regards. Hmm. So you mean to tell me you're coming from the village? Amaka, where will I come from by this time of the night? <sighs> Okay, no problem. Anyway, uh, what I want to know is, is it that you left the house late or what happened? Oh, it's a long story. As a matter of fact, I left the house very early. Just that our bus got spoiled on the road and the driver tried to fix it and he couldn't. We had to wait for the company to send us another bus before we continue our journey. That must have been hectic. I swear. You know what? I have the right medicine to fix everything. And now, we'll get you inside. You take a shower. Then I'll just quickly heat up something for you. Trust me, you'll be fresh as new. Just come with me. <laughs> Thank you. But please, where's my brother and Mika? Oh, that one. Stepped out. But I'm sure he'll be back soon. Just come. Let me, let me, let me take you inside so you fresh enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hey, I'm all going to be Come, 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 come. <coughs> okay. Hey. Please. Please. Can't I see her face to face? She is emotionally down and soaked in tears. Emeka, your brother really shattered her heart to pieces. I know. Honestly, I know what you're talking about. See, Amaka was the architect of all this. But you know what they say? To err is human and forgiveness is divine. That was what we were taught. I have heard you. Okay, so when is she coming back home? I can't wait to see her. Please coming back home to live with Amaka in that house? Never. That will never happen. I give you my words. Look, are, you, are you not aware that they are living together? Don't worry. She will leave. Once I talk to my brother and make her, she will leave. Listen, I suggest you forget about this matter. Because the love charm has entered into Emeka's veins. Don't go and cause problems for yourself and bring hatred upon yourself. Oh. Don't worry, my dear. She will... Oh, Mama. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, Blessing. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. And how is school? Um, school is fine. I just finished my final year exams. Really? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. <laughs> Mama, you're looking so good and ever young. <laughs> oh, I know. So that's the new trend. <laughs> You know that this is the only lady that will be old without growing old. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me go and finish what I was doing and bring something for you. Thank you so much. It's okay. Thank you. Hello, Papa. Nice, dear. Please. I mean, let her come back. My brother still loves her so much. Bless him. Bless him. The heartbreak is too much. 
I know. The shame is too much. What is it? Brother, good morning. Good morning, my son. Hope you slept well. Yes, brother. That's why you're looking so bright this morning. What's the good news? Brother, please, um, there's something I want us to talk about. Please. Who is it? Listen, what is it? Um, brother, it's about Susan. Why are you talking about Susan today? Did you say in your dream? <laughs> no, brother. I, I ask for forgiveness. Brother, please. I want you to bring her back home. She's the best. Amaka should leave this house. She's not good for you. She should go. Did she tell you how many times I've been to her place begging? But she refused to listen to me? But brother, you have to keep trying. Yes. You know they say, it's easy to destroy what you have built. But building it back, putting them together again, is not always easy, brother. Do you know how many times I've been humiliated by Susan? Do you know how many times I begged her to come back, but she practically refused? So, this girl hates me this much. Yeah, I was fooling myself, thinking she has my best interest at heart. Now I know better. You won't get away with this person. Brother, please. You can't give up because of that. You have to keep trying. Why are you insinuating? But what I'm saying is that. Please, I'm begging you. Try and bring her back. We all love her. I personally, I love Susan. I mean, winners don't quit. Someone who betrayed a friend, a best friend at that, lied that she was pregnant, took over her home. That brother, that person is Jessica. She's a demon. She's not human. Listen, shut up. You know? If you weren't my blood, sister, I would have beaten the daylight out of you and kicked you out of my house and never to return. Do you understand? But brother- I said, get, get out. Get out! But I said, get out! Don't even beg me. Don't beg me. No, who is planning to kill you? 
Because I don't understand your point. Well done, blessing. Thank you. Um, well, I wanted to come ask for your forgiveness. Uh, whatever has happened in the past, let's just leave it in the past. You know, let's leave as one family. Babe, forget that thing. Just leave that in her bag. Look, let me tell you. It's like a wound in the palm. Each time you wash your hands, it pains you. Then... Isn't it better we stop washing the pal so it won't pain us? I don't understand. Stop instigating problems in this house. Am I instigating problems or you are just assuming he who washes his clothes at night knows himself. Allow us live in peace. So, I am now causing problem in my own brother's house. Is that what you're trying to say? Let me educate you a little bit. This is my house. This is my home. And I decide whatever happens here. So it's either you're taking it Oh, you're leaving it. <laughs> Amaka, did you walk down here to quarrel with me because I don't understand? Well, I sincerely do not care how you take that information or what you decide to do with it. But the point is, I sincerely, wholeheartedly, cheerfully, welcomed you into my home. Don't take me for granted. <laughs> oh, God of mercy. Amaka, you still have mouth to talk. Like, seriously, you are not ashamed of yourself. After betraying your so-called friend, you lied that you're pregnant just to scatter their wedding. And up to today, where's the pregnancy? Is it still there? <laughs> Please, you should be ashamed of yourself, girl. <laughs> it's too cheap, that's cheap. Well, I've said what I wanted to, and I believe it's not me you're referring to. <laughs> Me, blessing. I am talking to you, Amaka. You think I'm afraid of you? Oh no, I am not afraid of you. And let me tell you something. Whatever charm you used on my brother, <laughs> one day, it will clear on his eye. He will be able to come back to his senses. Mm. We shall see. You will learn. There's nothing to see. Whatever you want to see, you take it back to your father's house, not here. We shall see. You still have the mouth to come and talk to me. Look at you. Nonsense. This house will never be your house. You are dreaming. When you wake up, you know that it's not, it's not, it's reality. It can never, never be your house. Nonsense. I thought you had something to say anyway. Let's see my time. The picture's already here. So if you send them um, three, then I'll send them. What are you doing here? I thought I asked you to wait inside. You couldn't wait for me to come and pay the bills. There was one guy that was inside. He was just staring at me. He has taken care of the bills. Though. He has paid for everything that we bought. Um, okay, my dear. We will talk later on the phone. Eh? Okay. I'll call you. If I can't see you, I'll send you the pictures. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you. What were you saying? He already paid for our bills. I don't understand. Why would you allow someone to pay for our bills? Do you know who the person is? Sister, I don't know him. Or maybe he met you during the wedding with Emeka. Who know? He's the one coming. Good afternoon, beautiful lady. Yes, afternoon. My sister here said you settled our bills. Oh, Why, oh. if I may ask? Oh, that. It's nothing. I can see you girls are waiting for a taxi. Yes? Yeah. 
Yes. Why don't you join me in my car so I can drop you off? Do you know where we're going? It doesn't matter. Anywhere, I can drop you. Never mind. You already settled our bills. We're really grateful. We wouldn't want to bother you anymore. Okay? Thank you.